Hello everyone, it's Jarrett Moore with the Enterprise DNA team here today to go over a quick video of something that I found out last night through scrolling through Twitter. What I have here on the screen showing is a picture of the homepage of Charticulator where you can build custom visuals for Power BI and before yesterday you were only able to do it through this website but Microsoft dropped a huge bomb on us last night and how I come across this was as I was getting ready to go to bed I opened up my phone and I was scrolling through Twitter and came across this tweet from Daniel Marsh Patrick saying that Charticulator Visual is now available in public preview in the app source. I was like you have got to be kidding me. So what I did was I clicked on the link and sure enough, it was like Christmas had come early for me. I don't know if you're as excited as this as I am, but let's go on over to that link and look at the actual description of the, of the, of the blog that was posted when I clicked on that link here. And it says that it's announcing that Charticulator is in, the visual is in public preview. As we scroll down through the page here, um, this is a kind of a quick and dirty um, explanation of, of what Charticulator is and, and how to do certain things. Um, but there are quite a few different links in here and how to get started in using Charticulator visual uh, now that it's in the Power BI desktop. So without further ado, let's head on back over to Power BI Desktop. And I will go over here to a, a page here with a Charticulator um, demo page that I have right here. I'll get rid of this tweet as we're doing this. And these were just some simple bar charts that I made um, with the Charticulator visual. Um, today's video is not really about how to create these visuals. I just kind of want to give you an introduction of, you know, A, on where to find this and how to download it, and then B, how to get started in using this visual. So without further ado, if I didn't already have the Charticulator visual, um, as you see here where my mouse is, is pointed at, on my screen, all you would have to do is, is go back over here to the the um, home tab and then click on more visuals and then from the app source and as that's loading right here took a little bit for that to load so without further ado when you're in here all you would do is start typing in let's just type in Tartik and then we'll search and sure enough there is our Charticulator visual that was released and then if you hit add, this will add this symbol right here to your Power BI desktop in your view there. So since I already have that downloaded, I won't hit the add button. So what you do once you have this downloaded right here is in order to create one of these, all you would do is click on the Charticulator button here. It's going to pull up a... A nice size window here and if you want to and even for this video you can you can you can make this visual just about as big as you want on the screen here um, to help walk you through um, kind of shows you some nice little steps here and how to get started um, in order to get started with this the first thing that you have to do which is a, is a little bit confusing but if you read through these steps it does make it a little bit simpler but if I click on the three ellipses here or the three dots at the top right and hit the edit button then this will open up the charticulator uh, portion and then these right now are not highlighted because I don't have any fields in there so from here if I if I pull in my let's just say my incentive super and then I go here to my jobs table and we'll add supervisor from here you see that these are available now to either create a chart or import template. So what I did was that I, I went ahead and created a, uh, a template, but uh, we'll just go ahead and cre hit create chart for now. 
And then when you hit create chart, this is the view that you get to design the charticulator. And I would definitely, from the previous page where we were just at, is go in and read the tutorials on how to use charticulator if you're not too familiar with this. But this is a totally different layout right now than what we're accustomed to if you've used Charticulator in the past. And let me show you what I mean by that. So as you can see right here, um, the glyph is right here on our right hand side. All of our layers and attributes are over here. And then the actual, um, the actual canvas is right here on the left hand side. But if we head on over to the Charticulator website, and then I hit launch Charticulator. And as that's loading right here, um, all I have to do here, I'm not gonna load a file. What I'm just gonna do is hit the back button there. And then now you'll see if we went to charticulator.com, now the canvas is over here on the right hand side and our glyph layers and attributes are all on the left side. So it's, it's totally flip flop with the visual. I don't know if that's something that they got feedback on, but uh, I know that uh, Microsoft is always pretty good at asking for feedback on how they can improve this visual moving forward. So maybe we can get it to um, mimic this, or if people are happy with the way that it looks in the Power BI desktop, maybe that's just the way that we're gonna have to get accustomed to using this. So if I go back on over to the desktop, what I'll do real quickly here is just back out of this. And do I want to make save changes? Don't save. And I will go ahead and remove this. And I'll show you one of my visuals here that I did for, uh, let's just say for the coordinator incentive. If I hit the three dots and hit the edit button, this will open up actually what my chart looks like, how I designed it in Charticulator visual here in the Power BI desktop. One thing that I do want to point out while I'm in here is, is once you have the visual the way that you want it, all you do is hit the save button. And then what you can do is once you hit the save button is you can actually hit this, not this button, this is the import template. So if you wanted to import a template, but this right here is you can export this and save it as a template. So for example, I'll open up one of these files here and show you what, what that template looks like. And this is one that I did for the, the, the uh, this is for the actual TC here um, that this, this shows down here. And as we scroll down through the page, um, it's, some of it's kind of hard to see as you scroll through down here. But as you see, here is our incentive measure that I had on the page there. This, uh, all you would have to do is basically just save this file as a template file and all i'm using here is is microsoft uh is notepad in order to save this as a dot tmplt uh, dot text file and this all you would have to do is just copy and paste this and replace your measures and or other fields with uh, the fields that you want to use moving forward so you wouldn't have to basically recreate a new charticulator every time that you go in there you could use this template and then just exchange the different fields that you want to let me show you here i'll close out of this head back on over to the desktop um, so if i do hit saved and if i do hit um, the export button i just want to show you that this is where it tells you uh, to save your file as a dot tmplt file and that's how I figured that out. So it's nothing that I've come up with. This is how I figured out through navigating through this this morning in Power BI, uh, just going through this for the very first time in the visual. This is where I found out to save this as a .tmplt file. So that is how you would save your template if you wanted to create a template. Now let's get out of this here real quick. We'll head back on over here to the main page. And these were just simple bar charts that I created in Charticulator. 
lots of other things that I could have done. I just knew these were quick and easy for me to put together just with my experience and using Charticulator. Now I know what probably what some of you are thinking is, is, is there a lot of content out there right now on Charticulator and how to create these? Right now, there isn't a whole lot of great content out there, but what I can assure you is, is coming up in the near future, one of the enterprise DNA experts, to be named later, will be having a class coming out very soon on how to create these Charticulator visuals. So if you aren't an enterprise DNA member and you wanna become one, now would be a great time to do so. That way, when that course is released, you have access to that right away. Now, I hope that you're excited, just as excited as I am for this new visual to be released within the Power BI desktop instead of having to go to charticulator.com to do all the work. Until next time, enjoy. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.